Hey guys, it's Sam and welcome back for another Black Desert Online video. Another week, another updates, and this time we have some pretty good events as well. First off, let me get this one out of the way. The Koi are back! Yes, just after several months since the last Koi event, the fishes are back for the taking. This time, for the Termian Night Summer event. So prepare your plus 10 Balanus Rod and start AFK again in Termian Beach to get those sweet easy money. And as usual, if you have sub level 50 character, the coins can be obtained in the Termian Cliff, even if it's not perma night time like what is happening in Termian Beach itself. The koi is still worth 500k silver, while the golden sea perch is worth 10 million as well. So to continue the Termian Summer Night event, there is a series of quests you need to complete first before you can get the daily quest. We will publish a guide later on for all the quests in the event, which should pop up above after it's completed. So the one-time questline itself will give you a house decor which gives 100 interior points. And then after completing the one-time questline, some of the dailies will give you Thermian Coral Coin, while some gives Ocean Blue Orb. Thermian Coral Coin can be used in other daily quests, while the Ocean Blue Orb, which you will want to collect as much as possible, can be used to exchange for a free swimsuit. You will need 30 of the Blue Orb for the swimsuit, and another 30 if you want to get another Golden Sunset Decor. Lastly, the remaining blue orbs can be used to exchange for Coral Crown, Diving Hat, Champron, and Shakatu Boxes. There is also another daily quest which gives you an item you can sell for 30 million silver. So don't forget to do this as it's pretty easy as well. Again, we will publish a guide for all the quests later on to get these rewards. If all of those are not enough for you to visit Termian Beach, then this next thing might just be the last straw. Termian Night Market is added which is located, well, in Termian Beach, and sells a lot of variety of stuffs. There are multiple night market vendors, and let's start with the best one there is. Uras sells food once a day which gives a 50% drop amount increase, and another 30% drop rate increased as well. So just remember these two are not stackable. He also sells foods that gives damage reduction and AP, and again these two are not stackable as well. The next night vendor is Scylla, Sells transformation stuffs, well, not really worth much, but RNG boxes as well for advice of Vox, Black Spirit dice, Capra stones, and meme frags. The meme frags and Capra stones are both 15 million each and can give you between 5 to 10 pieces, which I think is around the average marketplace price, so it's up to you to decide if it's worth getting. The third vendor, Daniel, sells foods again, this time gives extra damage to monsters. Life Skill Mastery, and Varying Resistances. Please do note which food does not stack with each other, as some cannot stack with the one sold by Uras. The fourth and the last vendor, Verda, sells elixirs and draught that last for an hour, which is again, super nice to have. Now please note that all the foods in the night market will be deleted after the event, so don't forget to use those. And note that elixirs are not food, so those stays even after the event ends. So alright, those are pretty amazing things to be honest, now let's try moving on to the other events. The second one is still related to Termian Beach, take a screenshot to be made into a poster. 10 winners will get the newest outfit added to the game, while the rest gets come above for 3 days. The last event is the summer night to remember. PA will select screenshots sent by players, and they will print it physically and deliver it to you. Good initiative PA. Alright, those are the events this week which are all related to Termian event, so it's time to look on other important things we got this week. First is the chance to get monster knowledge from Balenos to Medea has been increased by 10%, except Schultz since that is a higher gear grinding spot. A new monster is also added in Star's End, a range one, which I think will annoy many as that might not be knocked down once the stone is destroyed. PA will still look into it though if the implementation is not too intrusive. Then, a Turaction update removes the penalty for dying in Season and Normal mode. Yes, guys, crystals will no longer break, but this does not include Elvia servers, so in turn, the rewards in Elvia has been increased. Also, the boulders during Stage 2 of the final boss has been decreased in damage, as mentioned in previous Global Labs update. Then, QOL improvements this week. You can now move 20 non-stockable items to the marketplace at one time. It includes gears in the same enhancement level and scrolls, which is again a freaking amazing thing to finally have. Then, 
Guild masters can now send a recruitment invitation to offline people, which has been a very annoying thing in the past. So kudos, PA seems to finally start implementing things asked by players for a very long time now. Anyway, that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.